Hey everyone, welcome to today's vlog. Uh, we are currently eating breakfast. I made myself just an avocado toast with eggs and Ollie is eating French toast. He loves French toast. Is it good? Yep. He just likes putting a bunch of syrup on it and then eating it like that. Um, I'm also drinking my red raspberry leaf tea. You wanna say hi? Say hi everyone. You're sticky. Yeah, we'll clean you up once you're done. Okay. I have tried to film this vlog like three times. Um, so today, hopefully it sticks. Uh, I got up real early this morning. I paid some bills because it's payday. And I just took a nice shower, washed my hair because I haven't done it in like two weeks. Ali has um, his T-ball, his last T-ball thing today. It's like his award ceremony. And it's supposed to rain pretty much like all week for the next week. Um, and they said that it might be rescheduled until next week, so we'll just see how the day goes. I have to clean out my fridge. Um, and I'm like a whole month ahead on TikTok, so I really don't need to film. And Ollie's made a mess in the living room since like Monday, playing with like large Legos and cars and stuff. So I'm just gonna allow that to keep happening. Um, I don't have anything to do other than that stuff that I just mentioned. Um, I'm trying to like keep it to a bare minimum since I worked so hard on like nesting at the beginning of the week that I just don't want to like overdo it the rest of the week. I did bring out my ball and I want to bounce a little bit because I can't take a walk due to the rain. Um, so I'm just going to try and like, you know, maintain a normal day. Ollie yesterday pretty much played on the floor all day yesterday. Um, and I was able to relax uh, and like do my own thing. So that's what I'm hoping today I can get through what I need to get through and then me and him kind of just like do our thing all day. So yeah, Anthony's working. He'll probably be late today due to like um, the rain and it's one of his late days. So um, hopefully we can, you know, get dinner going before we have to go out. If we have to go out, we'll just see how it all turns out. You all done? You don't want sticky hands no more? Show me sticky hands. All right, I'm gonna get him cleaned up, eat my breakfast, and then probably start on my chores because I like to just get that done early in the morning. While he's like super occupied with his iPad right now, I'm going to clean out the fridge. Um, I do this kind of weekly because it just needs to be done and I try to do it around trash day. Um, trash day is normally on Wednesday into Thursday, but because of the holiday, um, it's now Thursday into Friday. So I have an extra day of food in my fridge and I don't get rid of stuff that I know will be eaten during the weekend before I can like cut up the fruit and stuff. So I'll leave mostly like the fruit in there um, and just get rid of like the leftovers that just was not eaten. My husband always states, make more cause I'll take it with me and then doesn't take the food with him. So there's like burgers in here that have been in here since Sunday and they're no longer good. There's just stuff in here that just needs to go. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick and then just like clean any of the bins or the like containers that hold the stuff um, that need to be cleaned. I also wanna put the stuff that's in my freezer down the basement because I have a huge stash of like meats that I went shopping for and I just threw them in the freezer and they're just taking up too much room in this freezer and it's hard to close. So I'm gonna take all that downstairs and I kinda need to pull something for dinner. We had um, sausage and peppers yesterday. Um, so I have to figure out what to eat tonight. I'm like, I threw up this morning. I'm not feeling like 100%. Um, and I'm having like a lot of pelvic pain and stuff. So I'm kinda just trying to not, do a lot today and like eating like I can't eat chicken still so I'm trying to figure out what to make and I have to make it like real easy because we have something to do tonight so I'm gonna go through what I can make um, after I dig everything out it might just be like shrimp and pasta or something I don't know um, but yeah let me get through this fridge real quick I know there's like yogurts in here that expired like a few days ago that I just haven't gotten rid of, so they have to go. Um, 
so yeah i'm just i'm gonna quickly do this i don't know how much i'm gonna record but i just want to empty my fridge real quick and just get this over with it's like 9 30 now um i'm hoping to get done like my chore of the day which is this by like 10 30 so i could just relax um it's been like really hard since the nesting video going up and down the stairs i'm just like so tired now um i had four loads of laundry to do and i had to go in between every single load and like go down there switch it out um it was a lot with the steps and then having to like carry things I, it was just a hot mess um i didn't want to wait for anthony like an idiot i should have waited for anthony um so yeah i'm having like a lot of pressure um and it's been like that for like two days and like i said i've been bouncing on the ball so i'm just i'm just trying to get this baby out and i don't think i should be like forcing it but i don't want to i have my c-section scheduled i just don't want to go to my c-section um i want him to come on his own and i want him to come early um but it's never like that never comes it like happens like if you want your kid to come it's he's not gonna come so I thought the same thing with Ollie he was gonna come and he didn't um I have a doctor's appointment next week we have an ultrasound to see how big he is um because I think they might like move up my c-section if he's weighing more um than the last time because last time he was two weeks ahead and that was at like my 20 week appointment so they have me scheduled for my c-section at my 29 like uh 29 or 39 and like four days they might move it up um if he's just measuring really big and now i'm coming to like the point in my pregnancy where i'm like going weekly pretty much um so i'm gonna see if i can get checked and see like how everything's progressing down there i don't even know because like i said the pelvic pain is so bad no one's checked me like um internally since i got pregnant so like i just i just want to see where we're at i've been drinking the red raspberry leaf tea since 32 weeks um we are 35 weeks already i can't believe that and it's just going by like so quickly think that I should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. but I don't know that much about you what things you like and what you don't Alright, so this is everything I took out of the freezer. We just have some um, burgers, steak, shrimp, chicken, brats and hot dogs, um, more sausage, chicken patties, ribs. All this stuff just needs to go down the basement into the deep freezer. Just gonna shut that down there real quick. Um, and I didn't have to take out a lot. There was just a couple of things that I had to get out. So, looks good in the fridge. Like I said, I just get rid of anything that's been in there for a while and I just found bacon in there. So we're probably gonna have BLTs for dinner. Um, I just got rid of like some wings that were in there for like five days. And if you don't know, this chicken is only good in the fridge for like four days. I found Chinese food from like over a week ago in there. Uh, just leftovers that just haven't been eaten, so they had to go. So the fruit and vegetables need to be eaten by Saturday. Um, there's just some watermelon, blueberries, strawberries, and some cantaloupe left. Um, and then some like carrots and cucumbers. Not, it's not a lot of food. Um, and then we also have salads in there. I think I might end up eating a salad for lunch. Like one of the mixed bags um just to get rid of them so yeah that's easy i'm done 
I kind of thought this was gonna take a lot longer because I thought there was more in the fridge, but there's not. So that's easy. I just have to clean those and put all that stuff downstairs. I do, I said this in like another video, I think. Um, I need to get down there and like organize my deep freezer and my other fridge because I have decided to just strictly um, bottle feed with my breast milk. Um, I just think it's gonna be easier if I do it that way, just because of like everything going on with Ollie. I have two um, like hands-free pumps and I have another pump upstairs that's um, like not hands-free. So I can do the hands-free during the day and then do like, like a power pump in the morning or something with the non-hands-free pump. Um, just to get like the majority of my milk out. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm bringing one of my pumps to the hospital. I just don't know which one I'm bringing. I'm probably gonna bring the LV one. Um, just so I could like, you know, figure out how to use that. And like I said, I don't really wanna breastfeed. So I'll have to bring like bottles, <sighs> bottles, storage bags, and um, my breast pump with me to feed him while we're there. So that's my plan. Um, if I have to like breastfeed, I will during the hospital stay. I just don't want to do it when I get home, especially when my milk supply comes in. I had an oversupply the last time with Ollie. Like I had such a big supply, it was insane. Um, and that's what I'm worried about this time around. If I'm strictly pumping and I'm pumping like every two to three hours, it's gonna be a lot of milk, especially this early on. Um, I'm gonna have to do something with it. So I have to clean out my deep freezer, like actually clean it out um, just to keep it sterile for all the milk. And I have to like get more Ziploc bags and just like, I need to like get myself prepared to like do this all over again. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this works out because I didn't want to be like stuck doing all of the nursing pretty much every day when Ollie, Ali didn't stop breastfeeding until he was like two months. He just would not latch after he got sick with RSV. So I pretty much just started pumping after that. And that, it was hard because my pump, like my Medela pump, my Medela breast pump was like stuck to the wall. I had to stay in one spot. I know you can put batteries in them, but it's not that, like it's not portable. You have, like you're still stuck to a machine. Um, so I was pretty much like stuck to the couch doing what I had to do for like 20 to 30 minutes. And it was just a lot. So um, having the portable ones, I think is just gonna make it so much easier for me. And I'll be able to do things and take care of Ollie and take care of Alfie at the same time. But also now I could just hand Anthony a bottle and be like, here, it's your turn. Because breastfeeding, I don't care what anybody says, breastfeeding is a whole journey. It's not like shaking a bottle for formula. It is a whole journey. It is a lot of work. Uh, I don't care what people say when they say like, oh, you could just whip it out and it's good to go. Like you have to worry about latching. You have to worry about um, the letdown. That hurts. I don't care what anybody says, it hurts. Even when you're pumping, it hurts. Um, and then like, because I had such an oversupply, I had to have him a certain way so that he wasn't like drowning in my milk. <laughs> like, so I couldn't just lay down and let him go at it. Like I had to basically sit myself back so he wasn't like getting so much of it at once. Um, so no, it's not easy. Sometimes it's hard. Uh, so yeah, just do what's best for you and your little one. I think this is what's gonna be best for me. And if I change my mind, I can I can easily just throw him on a boob. Like it is what it is. Okay, since I'm done all this, I'm probably just going to like figure out my shopping list for Saturday. I'm no longer going shopping without Anthony because I do like the laundry method where it takes me like one trip to get it in the house. I just can't pick up the laundry basket anymore with all of the food. So I now can't go shopping without Anthony. I'm exhausted walking through the entire sh like shopping trip uh, with Ollie. I went last week, it was terrible. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for Anthony for Saturday. I don't know if he's gonna be working or not. I'm gonna create my little list, get everything done. Um, 
and I'm pretty much done for today. Like I have nothing else to do. I'm so excited to just sit on my butt again. Um, I am like constantly watching videos and thinking of like what I should be adding to like the diaper bag and uh, my hospital bag. I don't want to overpack, but I also don't want to be so minimum that I don't have enough for a four day um, visit. The last time I was in the hospital with Ollie, I was there for four days and I didn't have enough of like clothes. I did buy some pajamas. Like I normally just sleep in like shorts and a t-shirt because I sweat a lot, but because I'm going to the hospital and people are gonna be around. Um, so I bought myself some pajamas. Don't mind him. Um, and they're coming in the mail this weekend, but I bought like long sleeve and um, button down ones. So it's easier for me to like, you know, undress if I need to. Um, so that's what I got along with sweatpants. I don't care what anybody says. You do not need to look cute to get be coming home from the hospital. It is like, especially after a C-section, it is traumatic on your body. You don't need to wear like a cute outfit to come home. I'm probably just gonna throw on some sweatpants and a nursing bra and our nursing tank top and just get on out of there. Um, especially cause it's like, <laughs> my C-section is scheduled at the end of July. It's gonna be hot here. It's gonna be so hot. I'm not gonna wanna do anything. <laughs> so yeah, that's like my uh, idea. And I'm pretty sure like the hospital near me is no longer taking labor and delivery i have to go to the one that's like 40 Mommy. to like 50 minutes away from us so it's gonna be like a long drive um so i just want to make sure that i'm comfortable and the baby's comfortable yeah what is that that's the dinosaur which kind of dinosaur it's blue and white yeah you don't know the name of it <laughs> it's, it's hair it has hair yeah yeah look at your hair <laughs> all right let me get all this stuff down the basement and play with him because obviously he wants to play i can't get on the floor anymore so i sit on the couch while he plays <laughs> this is the state of my living room right now but i will take it because he's like actually playing on the floor and doing whatever he's doing and there's like a bunch of pillows on this side of the floor i was supposed to clean it up like two days ago but every day i'm like What's the point of putting away when he's gonna play with it tomorrow? So I haven't done it yet. And honestly, I need to find some stuff for him to do for the next week because it's gonna be raining and we can't go outside. So that kind of sucks. Um, the other day he had water balloons and he went outside and played with the water balloons, picked them up. And then when Anthony got home, he played outside for like an hour. Um, so I just wanna get some like outside time pretty much every day, but since it's raining, we're gonna have to like come up with stuff to do in the house um and i don't want to get like completely overwhelmed and like pretty much hate what i'm doing with him every day like doing the same thing so if you have any ideas on some activities that you'd like to do with your children that include being stuck inside let me know in the comment section down below i just I just really need to find some things. Um, I have like a tiny little headache. I restocked um, a lot of snacks that I had from downstairs and drinks. And I'm kind of just relaxing at this point. I called Anthony and told him um, what we had left. Just trying to like think of things to put on the shopping list. Did that um, and now I'm just relaxing while Ollie plays on the floor. And like we bought these like erasers from like the dollar section on Target and he just loves them. <laughs> I don't I don't know why. He just likes like stacking them up and putting them in order and stuff like that. My little brother had an obsession of putting like, cars in order. Um, his little cars are downstairs, but as you can see, like all of his big cars are up here. He just likes to line stuff up the way my little brother did. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's so weird that like they pick up things from like your, your siblings and stuff um so yeah that's what he's doing i'm relaxing i'm not doing anything else um and we've agreed on the blt so that's what we're having for dinner i might pick up my camera to do like the ceremony tonight if it happens and to like maybe bounce on my ball a little bit later because i'm feeling a little discomfort right now so i'm not really trying to do that so yeah i feel like we're having a good day
come the stars, come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder So Ollie and I have basically been sitting around all day um, Anthony came home close to like 4.30 We had BLTs for dinner and we were supposed to go to the award ceremony tonight for like his t-ball but they canceled it due to the rain um they're upstairs now it's like 6 30 anthony is like ready for bed they have him coming in super early due to the like 95 situation still so he's um exhausted like he's so tired so and he worked um 12 hours today so yeah he's upstairs um i'll be hanging out with ollie upstairs too because i'm exhausted we're probably just gonna lay down and watch a movie in bed um i'm taking up applesauce because i have such really bad like heartburn and some acid reflux and i just need to eat something else before i go up and i don't want it to be like really bad just grabbing his dinosaurs real quick but i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below i answer every single comment hopefully i'm having a baby very soon because i'm just exhausted guys <laughs> and i'm gonna keep saying that in every single vlog so i'll see you in the next one bye